Whenever someone asks my favourite band, I've said Linkin Park for the last 16 years, so with the recent passing of Chester Bennington, I wanted to give some thoughts. This isn't on my main channel because that's a gaming channel, and this is about life. I'm not doing this for attention, I actually really don't want to talk about it. I'm struggling to accept that he's gone, but if there's even a slim chance that something I say could help someone, I have to at least try. What you're seeing is just drifting through space in Space Engine, free to download. I'll leave a link in the description. I want you to see this because of the emptiness outside of our world. Now, I'm not going to pretend to really know anything about Chester. I followed the band for a long time. I know fan stuff. I met him once and we asked each other how we were. We both said good and he signed my album. That's it. Apparently, he had some pretty bad stuff in his past and was struggling. You can also get an idea by the song lyrics. But to outsiders, he was a rock star, he had family, friends, fame, fortune. It sounds like he had everything. Because of his unique voice, he was many people's favourite singer. He was adored and respected by millions. And still, well, I don't know what happened. But apparently it was suicide, so I guess it wasn't enough. Okay, I really don't want to comment on things I don't know. So instead, I just want to say to anyone that is depressed out there, yeah, we can call it a mental illness, and maybe you will get pills given for it. Maybe you'll just accept that's your state of mind, and try to live with it. Maybe you're thinking of ending it all right now. I've actually been there. That constant pain. After a few years, ending it all really does seem to make sense. It's called selfish, but we say that it's selfish of others to want to keep us here in this pain. Humans are smart. They can rationalize almost everything. Just depends what they want to be true at the time. But instead of thinking of the pain and how meaningless and terrible life can be, I want to offer you my current perspective. You could have it all and you could still be depressed. Happiness is a fleeting state. It's something a lot of us need to build each day, and that's okay. We can use that as motivation to achieve. It's when we don't have achievements and get lost in our own negativity, and we cross that line into depression, that's when things become dangerous. That's when we need safeguards, defensive mechanisms. We need things in place to keep us from giving up. Think of it like this. No matter your beliefs, I'm sure you can agree there are thousands of generations before you. Your mother or father, their mother or father, their parents, and so on. Every single one of those people had to have children for you to be here. That means they all fought through life long enough to continue the family line. They fought through hunger, disease, war, natural disasters. They fought for their survival, for the survival of their genes. They fought for your existence. The amount of times I've heard stories, even just during war, where a parent would go without food just so their kids can eat. It's incredible. It's beautiful but also heartbreaking. I don't know if you know what it's like to go without food. But the love these parents showed for their children is extremely strong. They would risk their own lives just to save them. No matter how many times they yelled at their kids, a lot of parents think like that. So if you're a child watching this, you'll understand it one day, but know that they do love you. So you are not just one person. You are the combined efforts of thousands, thousands of generations all fighting and building just so you can exist. Your body is incredible. The fact that you can fight off disease and so many things that try to kill you every day you could die so easily, but you don't. You're amazing. No matter what you think of yourself compared to other people or even animals, you're amazing. You've earned your right to exist because of your ancestors. And now you carry on that fight. I don't know about you, but when I think about all the hardships my ancestors went through, there's no way I could stand in front of them and say, my problems are worth throwing all your hard work away. I've known people have wanted to kill themselves because someone they loved didn't love them back. And yet one of their ancestors probably got chased by predators every day and lived in a state of constant fear, or they lived through war zones. And now the thing that's going to end their genetic line is a girl or a boy didn't like them back? You can bring up millions of examples. Lost a job, struggling to get money, someone close was in an accident, have bad teeth, people say you're ugly, whatever. Yeah, life sucks. Or it can get really bad out there. But that's because our expectations are so ridiculously high. We're always judging ourselves and our lives by expectations. Seriously, we're lucky to have anything. We're lucky to have eyes, ears, a face, arms, legs, you name it. Ask anyone who has lost one or many of those things. Many desperately just want them back. And yet people out there are walking around like these things don't matter. Or just because someone insulted them means that they can't enjoy themselves anymore. That they can't appreciate their bodies and everything that they are. They're killing themselves. Throwing away very good functioning bodies because their brains have decided whatever problems they have or whatever they're feeling makes all of that worthless. I'm not saying that mental problems don't matter, they do. What I'm saying is, don't let the mental problems make the physical body not matter. Don't let them destroy something so beautiful. And it doesn't matter if it's not in perfect working condition. It's amazing it even exists. It's amazing it hasn't been destroyed already. It's strong. And so are you. Even if you don't feel it, you are very strong. We all are. 
It's a matter of perspective. I don't want to get into the religious beliefs, so just bear with me on this. Let's just say evolution is right, and we all evolved from a single-celled organism. We essentially won the evolutionary race. You probably don't even need to worry about being food for an animal. Ever watched an animal constantly looking up because of fear of an eagle or a hawk? That's a scary life to live. Really, we're quite safe. We're quite lucky. Another perspective? You have trillions of cells in you. Every cell does its job. Your muscles move, your lungs take in air, your eyes see, your ears hear, you can taste and smell, you can talk, you can think. All these cells do their job. So you can be you, so you can live. But what's your job as the mind? What if it's your job to take care of all those cells? That means every time you think of giving up, ask where you failed in your job. Because you should be doing absolutely everything to take care of your cells. Your body is amazing. Even with the problems, it's amazing. It's doing its best to help you. Why does it deserve to be thrown away? Listen, this is a big topic. One I'll cover more someday if people want me to. But can you at least see how you can set up a defensive mindset to help protect you from yourself? Every time I even think the word suicide, I think about all my body has done for me and how my ancestors fought for me to be here and how no matter what I'm struggling with, it's not worth throwing all that away. Feelings come and go, moods come and go, things come and go. But if you throw it all away, you have no chance. You ask for the meaning of life? How about ask the meaning of death? At least in life, you have a chance to give it meaning. In death, there's nothing, no meaning. Again, I don't want to get into the religious side of things. I know it hurts to think we can end. But until we can prove beyond all doubt that there is an afterlife, can you please at least try to make the most of this life you have now? No matter what state it's in, at least try. Even if it means switching off to your emotions and just doing what you can. Just try. I beat depression without drugs or any real help from anyone. I was alone. No one seemed to understand me. No one really cared. And even if they did, they had no idea what to say. I almost ended it all, but I didn't because I felt I was missing something. I promised myself until I learned what I was missing, I was not allowed to end it. I'm happy these days. Life is amazing. And I've been sharing bits and pieces of the thing I was missing. Those videos are quite popular. It's called the How To Get Good series, mainly about gaming. But one day, I want to expand it with all the things I think now, and how I doubt I'll ever be depressed again. So if you're depressed right now, please know that there is a way out of it. But it's going to take hard work, and you're going to have to fight. You don't have to give up. You're worth far more than you realize. At least trust me on that until you have time to learn and understand just how amazing you really are. No matter how bad you feel, you're still human. You're still the combined efforts of thousands of generations, possibly millions or billions. You're still trillions of cells working together. You're still capable of living a decent, modest life. You just need to give yourself time as you work hard to get through this. I'm 35 and I haven't been depressed for 13 years. I found a way out. I hope you can too. On a personal note about Chester, there has never been and may never be another voice that can get to me like his did. I held back tears by living in denial. Now that I'm doing this video, it's hard to live in that denial anymore. And I'm no one, really. I can't imagine what his family and friends, his band, anyone who knew him, I can't imagine what they would be feeling right now. At least his children will live on. So even though he's gone, he continues on through them. So he's not really gone. And I wish them all the best. To anyone watching this, Chester was amazing even if he didn't have the voice that he did. And so are you. Take care of yourselves, and don't stop fighting for your survival. Good luck.